What is going on everybody? Troy here, Troy's Hobbies. I pulled out the GoPro. I haven't used it in over a year. I kid you not, I forgot how to use it. I was having problems with it. Uh, a lot of times it wasn't working, it wasn't connecting. It looks like they have a bunch of updates. So yeah, I'm gonna try it again for uh, my videos on YouTube. But I have this, I bought it a while back, haven't even opened it up yet. This is a game cleaning station with folding faucet. I'm gonna keep, I'm not gonna rip the, old, the faucet out. I am gonna add a uh, battery operated faucet. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna show you. Let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, if you don't know, if you haven't followed my channel, I, uh, me and the wife, or the wife and I, purchased a uh, cargo trailer that we're converting into a into a uh, teardrop trailer, and it doesn't have anything inside inside of it. So we need a portable kitchen. So I have some ideas. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. How about that? 37.2 inches high, 45.28 inches wide, and 23.23 inches deep it's uh I, I got this at a sportsman's warehouse and it is real sturdy so i didn't want a permanent kitchen in our in our camper in our teardrop trailer so i'm hoping this will work out i got some ideas uh with some containers pretty simple let's go ahead and open it up really quick took two minutes folks there it is check it out so there it is perfect height for me It's uh, heavy duty, all metal underneath. Has a little mini sink. Do I wish it was deeper? Yeah. And it comes with, uh, it doesn't come with a black bag. I'm just using that for a, a base, but yeah. For the sink, here's your uh, sink, folding sink. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and install it, even though I'm not gonna use it, but if I'm at a camp where I can hook up to a hose, I can use this. Um, but the way I'm going to have it set up is more for boondocking. I'm going to connect it, connect it to a jug. Yeah, look at that. Quick disconnect. So let me go ahead and install that. Shouldn't take that long. Goes here and here. It's awesome. So I've already learned something. That's why it's always good to do this. Not at camp, uh, but just test it out at home. See what you don't like, what you do like. Of course, you guys already know I like this itself. I installed it. You can see what I'm gonna do. So you can hook up a hose if you're somewhere where it's allowed. You know, hook up a hose and have it, uh, you know, drain. Of course, you'd use like biodegradable soap and all that stuff, gray water. Um, one thing that's a pain in the ass, and I might move, if I do use this, I'm gonna move this. Put it over here, see it collapses. I might replace it, I already heard a, like a crack. So I might have over tightened it underneath. Like I said, I wasn't gonna use this anyways. I might buy a better quality one uh, on Amazon. But I'm thinking about rerouting this and putting it here the reason behind it is every time you pack up and move, you got to unhook this. And this thing is a pain in the butt to screw in. I have more room over here. So that's if I keep it. My other, what I really want to use, and I might poke a hole here, is I'm going to show you next what I'm doing. But for now, I want it to be uh, not hooked up to uh, a water hose. This is just a mock-up. I just made it even more simpler. I went ahead and took off that faucet. It was kind of janky. Anyways, if I really want a uh, plug-in hose faucet, I can drill a hole here. But look, look, this is what I've done. So I got that vent spout. I made the hole a little bigger. I love these Reliance containers. That's for our potable water. Lightly open, uh, open that up a little bit for uh, so the uh, pressurization. This is just a mock-up. If there's something I can change, I want to get this video out there. So you, somebody can say, hey, do this, do that. You're doing it wrong, do it this way. So yeah, that's this is just a mock-up. Probably just gonna dump it right in the grass. It's just water. But let's give it a go. I have room. I gotta find a way to secure this so it doesn't tip over. I do need to order a longer silicone tube. But yeah, pretty simple. There you go, folks. It's working.
larger container. We are on, on the grass, so it's a, at an angle. So if I put it at an angle, this larger uh, shaker cup fits. Yeah, it works. We'll let it run. Like I said, it's the grass is, and there you go. Of course, I would have a longer hose there, but normally for now, I'd probably uh, just dump it right in the grass, but I don't want the, uh, the ground below me all wet and muddy. So I would hook, hook it up to a longer hose. I'll get that later at Home Depot. But yeah, that is it, folks. Let me know down below uh, if you have any other ideas. Oops, there goes the water. But yeah, it's working. It's pretty simplified. If I had a water, the regular faucet there, I'd use a crap more load water. And of course, if you're out boondock, boondocking, water is important. But yeah, it works. It even comes with little stoppers just we're on uneven grass. That's it for now. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Still, you know, messing around with this idea. But I like it. Simple. Bye. Peace. See you guys in the next video.